Um, I was going to call this meeting to order at 6.13 p.m. And we'll ask staff if they can do the roll call, please. Lynn Gray. Good 
Who's that? Oh, she's just going to sit down. Oh, okay. Um, so we do have our CCLDA report. We still have our youth member uh, representative link on the website. Uh, informational items. The Battle Creek Habitat for Humanity would like to do a Rock the Block event in April. They're targeting April 15th, and they'd like to partner with us to do a cleanup event. So we haven't worked out the details, but that's something that we put on the schedule and you can coordinate with them and see if we can do a cleanup and then do a rock the block event. So we'll bring more information to you as that becomes available. Um, we do have our conflict of interest policy, which you approved at the November meeting and went through our board of directors at their December meeting. That's here for signatures tonight, so I'll just pass that around and you can sign where your name is. I do have the subcommittees on here. If anyone is interested in um, reading those, those are still avail available. Amy Rose and Ernest and I met on Friday and we did some mapping of the historic black businesses. We did those on a paper map and we'll transfer those to the story map so we can build out that data. We do have, um, was it 22 historic black businesses identified and was it seven that we need to do some additional research on. So that was a, a really productive day and it was really fun. And so we do have just a little bit more work to do on those. And what else here? So we have a pretty aggressive agenda set for you for the first eight months of the year to get through some of the properties. Um, and that is here and it's outlined. And then we did provide you with a section map just so we can refresh your memory of the geographical area for section five, section one, section two, just in case. You forgot that over the break because I know I often need to be reminded. So this is really our annual business meeting tonight. So this is where we elect the chair and the vice chair again. This is where we set that meeting schedule. And then uh, in February, we're looking to review the properties in section four and five. Amy and I have also been working on a draft review strategy for you to write down some of the decisions that you've already made and how you've made those decisions. So you have that to work on. Um, and then I want to show you another little tool that we've got some cards, some developing cards that you guys can use as well. I won't break those off now, but I'm really excited about them because it'll give you a visual aid to work with. So we're going to start that in February. Um, we also heard from you that you wanted to do a community forum. And we heard from some folks that when we plan community walks that aren't on meeting nights, it can be kind of difficult to make those since this is the time that everybody has cleared on their schedule to participate. So we planned that community forum for May to be at the same time as this meeting. So we'll have several months to work through some of the geographical areas, and then we can check in with the community. So it'll be at the same time. And then we'll do some community walks, but again, we plan them for July and August, but they'll take place in the first part of this meeting so that we won't have to do it on another night and folks will be, you know, will have to rearrange their schedules. So that is all on here. Um, we did say section three, which has the largest number of sites to do last, so that we can work through and really get our decision making and a good working process down. So that'll be last. And we have that starting in July. So does that sound good? Yep. All right. So that would be um, this, the meeting schedule that we're approving tonight is really the meeting date. We've got the venue set for Washington Heights United Methodist Church for the first six for the year, and then we have to secure a location for the second half of the year. So Amy is working on that, and once we have that, we'll update the meeting schedule. I also wanted to announce that Anna Brents, who will be here tonight, but she'll be a little late, she has to step down because she won't be able to make the meetings in person. So next month we'll need to bump up our first alternate. So Dan, we haven't spoken with you about that, so we will need to. <laughs> but we just got her letter today. We knew that it would be coming. She can participate in tonight's meeting. She said that for tomorrow, but I did want to let you know um, that she will not be able to participate and she won't be able to be here in person regularly. So that is another change that will be happening going forward. Does anyone have any questions? Um, for subcommittees, the sidewalk and by the subcommittee, did you say you need to keep your head though? 
Yes, we don't have anyone to head to subcommittee. Yes. Yep, so the question was, do we need people to have the sub sidewalk and lighting subcommittee and history subcommittee? And the answer is yes. So the uh, sidewalk and lighting is that good? Um, over in the northwestern area off of public, is that what we're talking about? What the lighting? Yeah, that's by Dudley's okay. Okay. The lighting subcommittee.
Dennis McKinley. Yes. Arnise Montgomery. Yes. 